My name is Alexey Dobryansky, and I'm a senior software engineer in the Business Central team in Copenhagen. Today, I'll talk about cost adjustment and the new capabilities Business Central has to offer to keep the cost of inventory accurate and up to date. First, I'll recall what the cost adjustment is for and name the main issues our customers are facing. Then we'll get familiar with the inventory cost adjustment tool and how to ensure uninterrupted adjustment of items, production and assembly orders. Finally, we'll look at what actions you might want to take in case something goes wrong. So let's start. The cost adjustment is a key functionality in the inventory valuation in the system. So it's aimed at achieving three main goals. First, it transfers cost from inbound to outbound entries, which means that the cost of such outbound entries such as sales, consumption, negative inventory adjustment, outbound transfers and purchase returns will only become accurate after the cost adjustment is run. Two, it calculates the cost of production and assembly output as a sum of their components, plus for production, capacity used for work and machine centers. And three, it distributes additional expenses, such as item charges and revaluation down across outbound entries. How and how often do you run the cost adjustment? The answer depends on the business needs and the load of the system. Our goal is to find the right balance between performance and timeliness of cost update. Business Central offers three, no, now four ways to run the cost adjustment. I would suggest that you go live with automatic cost adjustment on posting each transaction. Then, once the number of entries posted each day becomes significant, switch to running cost adjustment by schedule in non-business hours. In special occasions, like inventory counting or closing inventory period or revaluation, there would be an additional need to run the cost adjustment. And now, once the cost adjustment work becomes feasible for you and you want to make sure that there are going to be no surprises at important time, we're offering a new way to run and manage cost adjustment, the inventory cost adjustment tool. Speaking of issues, what might actually go wrong? Based on our experience, I would highlight the following topics. First, going live with no cost adjustment schedule. It may result that the cost adjustment is not running for, say, several months, and it would take hours of cost adjustment work to get back to normal state. Two, just one item failing to adjust rolls back the entire transaction, so all other items remaining unadjusted and the cost is not accurate, which is not good. The functionality has never been comprehensive to users. And addressing issues often required partners' help or filing a support ticket to Microsoft. The performance of the cost adjustment has never been a strong side. But the key point here is it's usually one or just a couple of items to blame, and it's important to find and isolate them. And finally, the cost adjustment expects consistent and correct data, and high extensibility of our code made it possible to feed inconsistent data to cost adjustment, and it may result in errors or bad performance. To duly respond to these challenges, we are now presenting the Inventory Cost Adjustment Tool, a new tool for monitoring the outcome and performance of cost adjustment. 
To begin with, go to Inventory Setup and choose one of two options in Cost Adjustment Login field. Errors only will log only those cost adjustments run that fail. And all will give you the full picture. And now, off we go for a demo. The main page of the Inventory Cost Adjustment tool is a list of items with their costing parameters. You can shorten this list by using Show High filters, either focus on items that are not adjusted yet, or on those that are excluded from the cost calculation. Run cost adjustment action will run the procedure immediately or later for one item, items you select, all items, or specially set up item batches. Under item, you'll find item entries with additional action to adjust entries that are applied to the entry you choose. Then we added two pages for the tables used internally for the cost adjustment, and it is very important to track the information on these tables because they contain data about periods, location, variance, production and assembly orders, that have been or will be adjusted. What lies under log per functions and diagnostics we'll see in just a second. Let's start and adjust our items. I run the cost adjustment for all items. So far so good. So let's view the items that are not adjusted. Okay, we just have three items not adjusted because they were excluded from the cost calculation. Let's see the outcome and performance of this cost adjustment run. We go to log per item and see the time it took to complete the adjustment and the cost difference it resulted in. Value entries will give me details. I might want to go deeper and investigate the adjustment per item. Then I go to log per item or I can just drill down to any items I'm interested in. So here we are. We see that the cost adjustment of this item resulted in this cost difference and I also can see the details. Now let's take a look at a second, not so bright scenario. In second scenario, we run the cost adjustment again for all items and it fails. You can see by using show eye filters that we have a lot of items not adjusted with the cost not accurate, which is not good. So what shall we do? Go to log per run and we get information about which exact item failed. We'll see the error message here and the error call stack. So now I have two options to continue. I can either isolate this item by using exclude item from adjustment action, or I may ask myself a question. What if there is more than just one item that failed? How do I detect all items? and make sure that all other items are adjusted. And here comes item batches. I will add all items in my list to the batch, go to item batches and run the cost adjustment for this batch. Please note that the cost adjustment for batches are running in separate sessions. So each batch is executed separately in separate session. This is done to properly handle a timeout periods here. But on the other side, you have to use refresh button to see the latest result. Okay, looks like the job is finished. Let's close the batches and go to show hide filters to see what we have left. You'll see that apart from those items that were excluded from cost calculation, 
item batches identify two items that failed. And how did item batches do it? If we open item batches again, we'll see that initially there were all items in one batch. Then, once the cost adjustment ran into the problematic item, it isolated this item and created a second batch for all other items. The process is repeated as many times as you define in max retry attempts. So finally, it ended successfully and found two items with issues. Now we can isolate them from the cost adjustment until we find the root cause. Let's go one step back and see why we believe that continuous monitoring of cost adjustment and quick reactions to issues is important for business. We are trying to achieve two main goals. First, we want to minimize or even eliminate items with inaccurate cost. Then, we are reducing the time between posting an entry and reflecting its cost in the general ledger. Having cost adjustment logged allows us to properly set the frequency of the cost adjustment to align with your business needs, locate items that fail or that have high performance impact, isolate them and ensure that all other items keep on being adjusted and promptly take corrective actions. Let's take a look at what diagnostic capabilities the new tool provides. Export and import item data. You can export the item, the problematic item, with all its dependencies, all related item tables to text file. Then you use a sandbox environment to upload this information and focus on investigating this item. Or you can attach this text file to a support request or hand it over to the partner you're working with. Reset cost is adjusted. Reset this toggle on items, production and assembly orders, so they will be taken over by the next cost adjustment run. Costing issues detection report will identify data inconsistencies and most common problems with data that our customers have run into before. Delete item data is a purely sandbox action that prepares a clean environment where you can later upload the information from the first step and focus on investigating this item without being interfered by other items. And that's it. That concludes the demo, but begins the conversation. So, do you have a question? or you want to come up with some ideas, feel free to reach out to me on Yammer or on EKMS slash PC Ideas website. Thank you for today and let's make friends with cost adjustment together.